At the beginning of the movie, the time is shown 800 years ago. Where a disease, Black Plague, was spreading all over the planet Earth. Due to this, the whole humanity was disappearing from the whole planet. In which, this disease was being spread by the Queen Witch. Because she intended to turn this into a witch's world after eliminating humanity. Then some knights reached to the cave to this Queen Witch to stop her. But that witch was so threatening and most potential. So she kills all the knights. But there is also a bold knight among those knights. His name is, Calder. Calder, moves ahead after killing all the guards of Witch Queen. And he stabs his sword into the chest of, Queen Witch. As a result, that Queen Witch is weakened and is nearly to die. But that witch curses, Calder, holding his heart. That he will be immortal for the whole life. In fact, it is not a curse of being immortal. But it was not less any curse to be immortal for, Calder. Because that witch queen knew that the disease spread by her, Calder's whole family was infected to death because of this. So, Calder, has no reason to be alive. And he also wanted to die with his family. Then the scene shifts to the current time where it is seen that, 800 years have passed. And it is seen, Calder, here who is still alive because of his curse. But his living style had changed with the passage of time. It is seen here that, Calder, is going somewhere by airplane. Suddenly, the weather condition of that place starts worsening. Then, Calder, begins to doubt because of that changing weather, that someone has altered the weather condition through sorcery. Then, Calder, starts detecting as who is that enchanting, sitting in airplane. He also encounters a young witch in the airplane here. It is revealed here that there was held an agreement between humans and witches many years ago. Where witches can live among human beings while disguising themselves. But they will not harm any human in return. When it is decided and the rules are made then it is the duty of everyone to follow this. And it is obvious that everyone does not abide by the rules when these are made. So there were also some witches who used to violate the rules. And it was Calder's duty to imprison those witches who are violators of rules. And, Calder, used to serve to a group titled, Action Sword. Whose task included to imprison the evil witches. Calder, sits beside that young witch, coming there. Where hat young witch has two symbols regarding weather changing conditions. Those symbols had much powers that witch could not know of them. Now, Calder, holds the power of those both symbols. Then that witch asks, Calder, will you make me captive for this? Calder, replies, no. Because you did not act this intentionally. Then, Calder, brings those both symbols along with him. Now, Calder, is known as, Last Witch Hunter, because of his such actions. In the next scene, it is seen that man comes to meet, Calder. And this man's name is, Dolan 36. Actually, Dolan 36 inches is the chief of that action sword organization, for which, Calder, used to serve. Dolan, is also a priest. 36th Dolan meant that, Calder, had worked with 35 Dolans before. So he is 36th Dolan. Dolan, tells, Calder, hear that, I will be retired tomorrow from my job. Hearing this, Calder, gifts him a costly pen. Many Dolan priests who held their job, they used to imprison the witches while working with, Calder. Next day, Calder, receives a call and he comes to know that, 36th Dolan is no more. Hearing this, Calder, begins to suspect. Where, Calder, meets with 37th Dolan. Because 36th Dolan had died. So new 37th Dolan had been hired. He was 36th Dolan who had hired him to work with, Calder. After this, Calder, and 37th Dolan move to the house of 36th Dolan. Where they begin to check the whole house, going there. In order to check this either there has been performed any sorcery. But they get no proof of sorcery, reaching inside the house. But 37th Dolan observes some dead flies in the house. Which pointed to the sorcery. Calder, notices this and sprinkles the magical dust on the flies. Consequently, the performed sorcery on that house is over. So that whole house comes to its real appearance later. Turning to its real look, that houses all objects were broken. Someone had performed a sorcery here in order to hide all these objects. Seeing this, Calder, is upset and also become little confused. Because Queen Witch used to work on such signs in her time which signs were made in that room. Moreover, that pen is also missing in that house gifted to 36th Dolan by, Calder. In the next scene, they both move to Wizard who was also a seller. Showing the some enchanted objects discovered in that house, they ask him to reveal about 36th Dolan's murderer and that witch. Now this man used to sell the items of the sorcery. So that witch had to buy those objects from here. But he is blind and says, I did not have a look of that witch. 
but she was extracting the smell of apples. Hearing this, Calder, understands who is sorcerer. So, Calder, and 37th Dolan move to the house of that witch. It is revealed, going there, that he was wizard not witch and he meets both of them, disguising a kid. But, Calder, detects that he is wizard while looking at him. Now, Calder, stabs his leg, taking a knife. Due to this, that wizard comes to his real appearance. When, Calder, investigates his house later then he also discovers a pen there. Which he had gifted to 36th Dolan. It is insured, witnessing this pen that, 36th Dolan has been killed by this witch. Then, Calder, imprisons him in action sword cell. Calder, senses this, there is the conspiracy of someone behind this. After a time, Calder, discovers a dead fly inside the pen. Which was indicating the former infected disease, Black Plague, spread 800 years ago. It is exposed here that no one dies because of, Black Plague. The infected patients are gone into coma who catch this disease. They don't restore their senses until the spreader of, Black Plague, does not end. Then, Calder, directly moves to the dead body of 36th Dolan, knowing this. Because 36th Dolan was also infected with the magic of that, Black Plague. It means, 36th Dolan did not die yet but he was still alive. And he was in the state of coma as being infected by that disease. And he will come into consciousness after the death of the spreader of that, Black Plague. Now the spreader of, Black Plague, will be ended after searching him within three days. If it may not be carried out then 36th Dolan will lose his life. So, Calder, starts searching the clues to find out that sorcerer. It means to discover that sorcerer. Who has performed the magic of, Black Plague, on 36th Dolan. Then he reminds one of the clues told by 36th Dolan. Remember the time when you were nearly to die. And Calder's time of death was the same when he was cursed by Queen Witch. So, Calder, begins to remind the time when he was cursed by Queen Witch. Despite recalling an excessive amount of information, Calder, is unable to recall anything. So he goes to a bar of witch in order to refresh his memory. So he may refresh his memory while visiting there. So he may bring into his mind of his past memories. Now, Calder, was facing issues to recall all memories. Because eight years had passed to the happening of that incident. So nothing was in his memory related to his past. Then, Calder, asks a server which of that bar to serve a drink which may refresh his memory. But that which forbids doing so. Because, Calder, was a witch hunter. But that witch named, Chloe, agrees on the insistence of, Calder. Where she gives, Calder, a spell memory potion after making. As, Calder, takes that memory potion as he travels in his flashback. It means, he goes in the time where he was cursed by that queen witch. When, Calder, was glimpsing those memory images. Then a wizard named, Belial, reaches there. And he attacks, Calder, as he arrives. But, Calder, is not able to act anything right now because he had taken that memory potion. Due to this, his body was not in its strength. Where that wizard, Belial, also sets the whole bar on fire. So, Calder, may not take the spell memory potion, coming here again. As it is known that, Calder, was eternal so that wizard is unable to kill him. But that wizard, Belial, abducts that witch server, Chloe. When, Calder, restores his consciousness. There was a Belial's piece of cloth in his hand. Which had been left in his hand during their fight. There was smeared a red dust on that cloth. Through which, Calder, detects where he has stopped at this time. After a while, Calder, also reaches there. Where he brings, Chloe, along with him after making her free from his clutches. Because Chloe's life was also under threat now. The reason was this as she had served that memory spell potion to, Calder. So, Calder, asks, Chloe, again to make that memory potion. Chloe, responds on this, no. I cannot remake this memory potion now. Because all plants burnt into fire in that bar used in making that memory potion. But there is my such a friend who grows those plants. And she will surely not have the shortage of those plants. So they both go to her house where they observe, reaching there. That which has already been killed by, Belial. And he also taken all plants with him. Then, Chloe, says to, Calder, hear that, now those plants can be found by only one witch, now they both begin to ask those plants, going to that witch. But that witch spells on, Calder, so he is lost in his past memories. Where, Calder, is along with his wife and the daughter. Now, Calder, is entrapped in his flashback here. At the same time, he glimpses, Chloe, in his memories. In fact, Chloe, had a power to visit the dreams of anyone. 
It means that she was visitors of dreams. She brings, Calder, out from the world of his memories here. When, Calder, restores his senses again. Then he grabs all powers of the other witch. Afterwards, they both leave that place. Now, Calder, had known here that, Chloe, is the visitor of dreams. So, Calder, asks him to travel in his past memories. So he may glimpses the images of his past memories. Now no plant will also be required for them of doing so. So, Chloe, agrees with him here. When they both travel to Calder's memory later. Then they witness when Queen Witch had cursed him of being immortal after holding his heart, that which was burnt exactly after that incident. And the first, Dolan, is going to cut the heart of that witch to kill her properly after pulling it out. Then he notices that, Calder, is also suffering from pain from his action. Then first Dolan understands that, Calder, will also be ended after cutting this heart. So the first Dolan does not harm that witch's heart. He rather takes it with him. Coming out of the past memory, Calder, knows the whole story that, Belial, had come to 36th Dolan to get that witch's heart. Killing him, he moves away after grabbing the witch's heart. In fact, he was trying to resurrect the witch. After this, 37th Dolan and, Calder, go away in search of, Belial. In the next scene, Belial, is shown who starts the ritual to resurrect the witch. In which he was going to sacrifice that wizard seller. But, Calder, also reaches there but, Belial, had resurrected the queen witch before his arrival. Seeing this, Calder, kills, Belial. Now he moves ahead to kill queen witch. But that queen reverses the curses, touching his heart. Due to this, Calder, is very wounded. But he escapes from there. He observes, coming back that 36th Dolan has revived. Because, Belial, was the spreader of, Black Plague, at this time. And he had been killed by, Calder. So 36th Dolan restores his senses again. 36th Dolan tells, Calder, hear that queen witch will be feeble because she has recently resurrected. Now she will struggle to combine all witches with her. So she may be more powerful and threatening. So she may root out the humanity later. Hearing this, Calder, understands that queen witch will attack action sword cell now. Because it is that place where she can find many witches together. After this, Calder, returns to his house, collecting all his weapons, he moves to that prison cell along with, Chloe, and 36th Dolan. Where he observes that queen witch has connected all witches. Where she is extracting all their powers in herself. Now she is spreading, black plague, again. Then, Chole, visits the dream and going into the one of the witch's dream, she kills her. So that connection is disrupted created by queen witch. Consequently, Queen Witch begins to weaken again. Where, Calder, begins to assault her, using his sword. And a great fight is observed between both of them here. Suddenly, 37th Dolan points his gun at, Chloe. Because, Calder, had made 37th Dolan's parent arrested before many years. Because they both were evil sorcerers. 37th Dolan was acting all to avenge his parents. 37th Dolan fires his gun at, Calder, here so he falls down as being injured. Now Queen Witch makes, Chloe, the part of the circle to accomplish her witch circle again. Doing so, Queen Witch also kills 37th Dolan. Because he was human being. No matter that he was supporting her. Now Queen Witch starts spreading the, Black Plague, again. Where it is seen that, Calder, is nearer his death. Where he glimpses the faces of his wife and the daughter. Where they convey, your time has still not come to meet with us. Because you still have to save humanity. After this, Calder, is again come into his senses. And he changes the weather condition of that place with the help of weather controlling symbols. Thunder begins to fall there as a result of this, and the Queen Witch's attention is diverted. And, Calder, stabs his sword into the chest of Queen Witch. So Queen Witch loses her breaths at the spot. Where, Calder, is going to harm his heart to end her completely. But, Chloe, stops him of doing so. She tells, you will also be dead if you take this action. Then there will be no one here to protect humanity from the witches. So you should not carry it out. Hearing this, Calder, begins to ponder, that it was also the wish of his wife and the daughter. That it is not his time to die and he may save humanity. And he may punish the evil witches because of their wrongdoings. So, Calder, does not harm that heart. He rather hides it in a safe place of his house, bringing it there. So no one may get access to it. After it, Calder, and 36th Dolan come on the scene. They are talking with each other. Where, Calder, says to 36th Dolan, Now I will not serve for action sword. But I will continue to punish evil witches. 
Then, Calder, sets on his next mission with, Chloe. And as soon as he leaves, the film gets completed in this scene. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.